<coughs> so today so we are going to prove that uh, so our aim is that so suppose it be a field and k k dash are two algebraic closures of f then our intuition says that these two must be isomorphic so so the fact is that it is yes because so then k and k dashed are isomorphic with respect to with respect to an isomorphism that can be defined from k on to k dash that keeps each element of f fixed okay so before going to prove this theorem let us first look at the result that can be achieved uh, by introducing monomials that means uh, polynomials with several variables several indeterminates <coughs> so so let us try to prove first that that there exist an algebraic closure of a field f and after that we will see that any two algebraic closures of a field must be isomorphic under an isomorphism that keeps each element of the base field fixed okay now recall that recall that if f is a field if f is a field and and suppose x1 x2 xk are k many indeterminates okay indeterminates then one can form one can form a ring with respect to over the field f using this k many indeterminates which will be the ring of all polynomials in x1 x2 xk with coefficients in f so ring of all polynomials in x1 x2 xk over with coefficients has been taken from this field f will be a ring of polynomials in the indeterminates x1 x2 xk over f uh,
ओके विद रिस्पेक्ट टू सर आवर ईमेल जो जो पैराटल के सर पर लिंक से रखा है ठीक है सर बुझ दर With respect to usual addition and multiplication and multiplication, over the field F by considering by making an agreement that. that mm, if you take any two indeterminates then they will commute with respect to so x i x j must be x j x i okay so you would like to identify these two expressions okay okay so now we are going to extend our definition of polynomials using infinitely many indeterminates which is as follows so now suppose that suppose that you take t it is a it is a collection of commuting indeterminates that means you are making an agreement with the indeterminates that if you take any finitely many uh, if you take any two indeterminates then they will commute okay so let us suppose that this okay so be the collection of commuting in detail minutes okay okay <coughs> then uh then we consider define define a set which will be denoted by f t okay and defined as it will be the union of f s where this s is a subset of t and s is finite that is a c j finite subset of t that is you are taking any finitely many inde indeterminates from that t and then consider the polynomial ring fs and take the arbitrary union okay that means that means that is it is a set of all elements of the form i think this will be the correct expression so it is ai xi1 xi2 xi n and the summation will be over the finite set of indices right well ai belongs to f and this xi j has been taken from t right okay now 
as usual whatever you have defined for this ring you can adopt the same idea of defining addition and multiplication on ft okay so you can check that this will form a ring with respect to usual addition and multiplication okay over the field f and it is the, it is called the polynomial ring over f in p so this will be called a polynomial ring over f in t where t is the infinite set of commuting indeterminates okay and should be noted that note that if you take a polynomial having the expression this okay then this will be this will coincide with zero if and only if each ai equals to zero okay for each monomial xi1 xi2 xi k okay okay now let us so so how it will help us to prove the next theorem uh, seems to be very clear to us so let a be a field then <coughs> there exist an algebraically and algebraically closed field k containing f as a sub field okay that means every field has an algebraically closed extension that is equivalently you can say that that is every field has an algebraically closed extension and the proof will go like this so <coughs> we first so our first move will be to define a define an infinite set of commuting indeterminates okay but how one does do such thing this is a question okay okay so so our aim is so to construct an extension suppose you denote it by k1 of f in which in which every non constant polynomial every non constant polynomial as a root right 
as a root. Now, so if you take any, so for each non constant polynomial, suppose f x belongs to the polynomial ring f x, right. So, for this polynomial f x, we are going to associate associate an object that is an indeterminate associate an indeterminate that means a symbol like bearing this f x f for a non constant polynomial f x you are going to associate an indeterminate and denote it by x suffix f which means that for each non constant polynomial there is an indeterminate okay and then take the collection of all those indeterminates f x belongs to this with degree must be greater equal to 1 right so you are so you have to move the volume now is it as you see it you will let it out the volume as you see it man you do you have a non constant polynomial f x you have a non constant polynomial ninja that called the f x you are denoting that polynomial by f x so for this symbol you can associate another symbol f x f you have to go to the other key also with that okay sir सिंबल निश्चित है। किंतु वही जस्ट सफिक्स टाइप का मैं वही टाइप के एसोसिएट कोची जाते हैं बुद्ध वाली जिन्हें वो डाल चुके हैं वही एफएक्स पॉलिनोमियल जिसे डिनोट करें चला तार कोरस्पोंडिंग है इतना इंडिया इतना सो कोरस्पोंडिंग तू दिस टी सो वी कैन डिफाइन the polynomial ring that is f t okay and which is supposed to be an integral domain sir ha bolo tale ki sir apni e mane ei ta amra ekhane korlam je x f je toiri korchi তার মানে আমরা ওই এফ এক্স টা যেটা মানে ক্যাপিটাল এফ এক্স এটাকে আমরা ইনডেক্সিং সেট হিসেবে ইউজ করতে তাই তো হ্যাঁ রাইট আচ্ছা মানে ব্যাপারটা হচ্ছে এরকম আর কি যে তুমি এফ এক্স এর যে এফ টা আর কি মানে এই যে হ্যাঁ হ্যাঁ এই যে সিম্বলটা হ্যাঁ এইটাকে তুমি নিচ্ছ হ্যাঁ ওটাই বলছি আর কি মানে একটা করে পলিনোমিয়াল পাচ্ছে একটা করে আমি এক্স এফ তৈরি করছি and it will be an integral domain however idea to a day to j2 integral domain so another idea to have a jam rocky cookie chai china i'm right at a field to you go to jay yeah the field with a lucky good to win a polynomial ring and what they are going to maximal ideal weather जे मैक्सिमल आइडियल रखी होगे ना तार रेस्पेक्टे एफटी जे क्वेश्चन रिंग टा होगे दैट विल बी ए फील्ड ठीक है जे वो ही फील्ड आ चुका हमार पॉइंट ऑफ एट्रैक्शन ठीक है जे ये टा हमारे डिफाइन करता है तो क्यों कोड कोड चे मतलब जिन्हें से कुछ सिंपल मतलब व्यापार टा कुछ सहज भावे देखो तालिबा � so I'm not he got the idea that go now we are going to define actually we are going to use Jones lemma okay so let us define a set I so I is the actually you can define so it is the ideal ideal in ft generated by 
देखो जेनारेटेड बाई ऑल पॉलिनोम ऑल पॉलिनोम एफ एक्स एफ तेल बेपारे कि वोने पलिनोमियलगुल ठीक है तो पलिनोमियल तुम एक्सर जगह एक्सेप्टा के रिप्लेस कर ले रईट अफ डिग्री अफ एफ एक्स एफ इज तुम ये बोलते पजिटिव डिग्री ओके देख प्रत्येक इन डिटार्मिनेट से करस्पन्डिंग एक पलिनोमियल अलरेडी इफेक्ट आज एंड दैट इज अफ डिग्री गेटर इक्ल टू वन ओई एफेक्सर मध्य किलने जो इन डिटार्मिनेट नहीं निल रिप्लेस कर दिल करते ही समस्या तो किस नहीं इन डिटार्मिनेट तैना तुम एक्सर जगह एक्सेप्ट नहीं जो करते ही पो कि प्रब्लेम नहीं सेगल नहीं निल दिए हमें कि करी एक आइडियल जेनारेट कर आइडियल जेनारेट कर ठीक है देखो भलोक सो आवार क्लेम इज दैट this i is going to be a proper ideal ঠিক আছে the proper ideal দেখানোর উদ্দেশ্যটা কি what is the purpose because if it would be a proper ideal then you can find out a maximal ideal containing that i oi maximal ideal ta ke diye ami ki korbo oi ft er quotient kore nebo tali ota fill hoye jabe पसिबल लेट देखा जा आई इज नॉट प्रॉपर दैट मीन्स आई इक्वल्स उथ द होल पॉलिनोमियल रिंग Okay. Now, since one belongs to this, so one is a member of I, and this implies there exist there exist finitely many polynomials in F T such that. One can be represented as as a as a sum of the products that is G one, F one, X F one. Okay, G two. What about that? F two, X F two. Right. Plus G n. एफ एन एक्स एफ एन ठीक है तो ओके नाउ दिस जी वन जी टू जी एन इफ यू लुक एट दि पलिनोमियल डिंग एफ टी दें दिस वॉज दि यूनियन अफ एफ एस एस इज ए फाइनइट सबसेट अफ टी ओके 
so that means this g1 g2 gn will contain finitely many indeterminates okay so note that note that g1 gn will involve only a finite number of indeterminates okay indeterminates and also here you have if you take this f1 f2 fn so here you have xf1 xf2 xfn right so you have finitely many indeterminates involved with each f1 f2 fn so all together they are finitely many so therefore you can denote so denote you can denote each x f k as x k or each f k belongs to so originally they are polynomials in f x right so you are reindexing the these indeterminates x f 1 x f 2 x f n ok since they are finitely many ok and again in g 1 g 2 g n you will have finitely many indeterminates so all together you can reindex them and you will get uh, suppose are many indeterminates right so and uh, except k as this and reindexing the the indeterminates occurring in sorry occurring in all the polynomials g i that is for each i from 1 to n so denote this and reindexing the indeterminates occurring in all the g i we will get a set of a finite set of indeterminates suppose x1 x2 xn and then after that xn plus 1 x r okay this is true and therefore therefore with respect to these indeterminates you can represent this expression in this way that one could be represented as it will be summation of i equal to 1 to n g i of x1 x2 xn xr and these are fi xi right i think it is okay so numbering it by 1 now okay so now by Kronecker's theorem, so if you take a every polynomial, each polynomial f1, f2, fn, then each of them has a has an extension field where it will have a root. 
so therefore you can take um, so you can say that that let let us suppose that l be an extension of f in which each of the polynomials each of the polynomials f1 f2 fn has a root okay right <coughs> say say in e ai a root of fi for each i 1 less or equal to i less or equal to n so you consider a root of fi for each i equal to 1 to n that is ai okay then you are going to substitute this ai in place of xi and for other indeterminate that is xn plus 1 to xm you will take 0 ok. So, we substitute xi equal to ai for all i 1 less or equal to i less or equal to n and for other indeterminates we will take them 0 sorry n plus 1 to x r equal to 0 <coughs> ok. Then you will get then we, sh we will arrive at So, if you substitute this uh, in 1, in 1, then you will get these will be 0. So, therefore, 1 equal to 0, which is absurd for our ring, right. So, hence the ideal that we have constructed, so hence be a proper ideal of Ft and then by using so Jones lemma there exists a maximal ideal. suppose denoted by m of f t containing that ideal i ok. okay. And So, consider the field this, then you can say that you can, so there is a map from F to uh, Ft by M as you take any a goes to a plus m. So, this will be a 1 1 1 1 ring homomorphism
and also it will go it will map the 1 to 1 plus n ok so therefore this will be an embedding field monomorphism right so therefore it will be a field monomorphism ok so hence mm, f t by m is a field extension of f ok ok now if you take now let let f x be a non constant polynomial f x be a non constant polynomial <coughs> in f x capital f x then what will happen then does it have a root in this new field देखो तो चेक करे तर माने corresponding to these fx you can associate a associate an indeterminate लेखने कोनो रूट आचे की देखो तो सपोज हाँ यही देख लाम अरे की होच्चे वालो तो हाँ पुड़िया तो याची 